in the last few years, I have realized the importance of the wedge in the shop. Those chisels, that's a wedge. And if you use it properly, I'll show you in a five minute dovetail, if you use it properly, you just, it helps speed up your work. If you use it improperly, it, it's gonna fight you because of that wedging action again. Um, for joinery, there's no stronger joint uh, than, a, than a wedge joint, in my opinion. Um, so it's, uh, it's a remarkable thing that you, if you understand it and take advantage of it, simple machine, it uh, gives you a huge advantage. Now, I see a hole here, and that must be your target for the wedge, is that? I gotta tell you a story. All right. I've got a student uh, helping me, and, and I got this idea. Let's see if we can get this apart. Hang on to that. Sure. And um, I got this idea from a, an article I read, and this guy had cut these relief holes. That's, that's good, yeah. Um, in, uh, in a big wide board on a bed frame as relief holes. And so there's a wedge slot going to go in here eventually. So there'll be a, I'll cut a slot on the bandsaw across here and so this I figured if I put this relief hole here it would spread the pressure out of, of you know of that wedging action because I'd taken one of these apart once in a class and I'd seen that the wedge had split the tenon so I was talking about it in class and, and I was kind of proud of myself I said you know I came up with this idea of relieving the tension in, in a wedge and my assistant that that summer was a gal she said, oh yeah, fracture technology. I got a book on it. I'll bring it in tomorrow. <laughs> it put me right in my place. It's, so you're, you're top there. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's, this stuff has been, like I said before, this stuff has been around for, for ages. We're just rediscovering it. So what you do is by cutting this relief hole here and you cut your slot here, that pressure spreads out around a larger area. Uh, instead of focusing on it. keeps on, it from running out or right, running through. Right. Now you got to make yeah. sure, I got an example here. You got to make sure that you don't see if you look here I don't know if you can see that on camera but that wedge went too deep mm -hmm. and it's splitting it's splitting out the tenon so um, it, it the wedge just provides so much so much power uh, you know how they split rocks is they'll take wedges mm -hmm. stick them in the rock and then pour water on them <laughs> spreads out splits the rock it's kind of like the keystone too and yeah. architectural keystone it's it's so important Here's a, yeah, this, I took this table home, but this was a dummy joint I, I did on a table one time, and, and the whole table was rocking, and, and I hadn't put the wedges in yet, and I was a little worried, you know, be, the joints fit a little bit better than this, but once you tap this in, you hear the sound change? It's a rock. It's a rock. You can't get that apart. I don't know how many trestle tables I built in the 80s uh -huh. with a wedge in the end. Yeah. It was the answer. Yeah, yeah. That's really how was. I do all our yeah. benches. It yeah. doesn't make sense to me to bolt a bench together. I'm a woodworker. Mm -hmm.